the materials that we will be using to collect observances using a thermoscientific Genesis 30 visible spectrophotometer include our solution, a blank for our solution. Since our solution is aqueous, we'll be using deionized water as our blank, a beaker for our blank, a beaker for our solution, and a beaker for waste. Take your solution and pour a small amount into your beaker that's dedicated to the solution. Rinse your beaker with solution to coat the walls of the beaker. Pour your rinse into the waste. Pour a small amount of your solution into your beaker that's dedicated to your solution. Using a pipette, transfer solution into your cuvette that you'll be using for your solution. In a perfect world, we would be using the same cuvette for a solution as we are for our blank but today we'll be using two different cuvettes. Discard the solution in your cuvette into the waste. Using your pipette, fill your cuvette with your solution. Make sure that there are no bubbles in your cuvette as this may give you a false reading. Now pour a small amount of your blank into the beaker that's dedicated for your blank. Rinse this beaker with your blank, as you did before with your solution, and then discard it into the waste. Pour a small amount of your blank into your beaker that's dedicated to your blank. Using a new pipette, prepare your blank cuvette in the same manner that you prepared your cuvette with solution. Since my blank was deionized water, I didn't bother to rinse either my pipette or my cuvette. However, if your blank were another solution, you should rinse both. This is Thermoscientific's Genesis 30 Visible Spectrophotometer. When starting up your instrument, you should see this screen. Allow the instrument to run through its opening preamble. Navigate to the scan selection on the display and press the enter button. Wipe off the outside of your cuvette with a Kim wipe. In the Spec 30, light passes from the right to the left. Insert your cuvette so that the clear sides are directed towards the path of the light. Close the instrument and press the zero button. Once your instrument has finished calibrating based on your blank, remove your blank gently, place it to the side, and insert your sample. Always be sure to wipe off your samples with a Kim wipe before putting them inside of the spectrophotometer. Close the instrument and press the green play button. The instrument will begin collecting a spectrum that you'll be able to visualize on the screen. Once your spectrum has been collected, navigate with the left and right arrows on your spectrophotometer to find the tallest peak. This will give you the maximum wavelength for your sample. Record it in your lab notebook. Remove your sample from the instrument. Reinsert your blank into the instrument. Navigate on the home screen to the fixed setting. Insert your maximum wavelength and your molar coefficient if known. Navigate past the next two selections and press the enter button. Press the zero button. Open the instrument, remove your blank as before, and reinsert your sample. Press the green play button to collect your fixed absorbances for your sample. And as always, record your values in your notebook.